What's up, YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a lava lamp house. Yeah, believe it or not, this is actually a house as well. In the base of the lava lamp, we do have this nice interior, and you can even look up into the lamp just above, and if you have actual lava, you have a nice fear of death as you sleep soundly at night. If you enjoy this video, please do remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that, and please leave any suggestions that you might have down below. I want to see what other weird stuff you guys want Want me to make but without any further ado let's do this thing so this house will fit into a nine block by nine block area that's not too much space at all we also need all of these materials that i have in my inventory right now if you want to change the color of the lamp or the color of the lava please do that it is completely up to you what sort of color what sort of lamp you want to make at least, if you don't want to change the color of the lamp, the color of the lava can easily be changed by changing orange to green, blue, whatever. So, once you have all this stuff, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'm of course going to be making mine in these boundaries that I've set outside right here. You're going to want to begin with this sequence of blocks in a row on the floor. Place a white concrete, followed by a grey concrete, followed by a door, followed by a grey concrete, and then a white concrete. As if you're looking down on the ground like this, place two upright diagonal white concrete blocks. That's the first one, that's the second. Go up by four, one, two, three, four. Then do two up left diagonals, one, two. Then go left by four, one, two, three, four two bottom left diagonals, one, two, and then go down by four, one, two, three, four, and then connect everything together with a bottom right diagonal. You should end up with this shape. Take that shape that we have here and place an additional block on top of every single block that you've placed. So that means place white concrete where you have previously placed white concrete and place the two grey concretes where you previously placed the grey concretes, like this. You might also want to add buttons next to the door by the way, like right next to the door on both the outside and the inside. So that will allow us to not only enter the house itself, but it will also allow us to leave as well. Food for four. What we then want to do is we want to place white concrete on top of each grey concrete block. Connect it together. And then on every side, we want to place three white concrete on top of the three middle blocks. So like place one on the middle, left, right. And then come to the back, you place one on the middle, left, and right. And then on this side too, one on the middle, left and right. You then want to connect those four white bits diagonally using light grey concrete. So what that means is place a light grey concrete here and here to join things together diagonally. And also here and here. And on this back part too, here and here. And the remaining part here and here. So we want to have something which should look exactly like this. Now, once you've got that, we want to grab our grey concrete. And we want to place a layer of grey concrete above and inside of the top of the empty space that we have just made. It should form a nice circle shape as you can see me doing here. So just inside of the empty space going around in like a ring shape, we just want to place a layer of gray concrete. So just like that. What we now want to do is we want to place a sea lantern coming in from each one of the middle gray concrete. So like here for instance, here, here, and here 
just so that we have a bit of light inside of the actual build and uh, it does look quite nice like that too. You might also want to fill the top of this in using white stained glass block. This will just make it so that you can look up into the lava lamp whilst you're actually in the house down below. What we then want to do is on the left hand side of the lava lamp, specifically the left hand side like this side, you want to place on top of this sea lantern block right here, we want to place two white glass. One, two. Then place an upper left diagonal. And then we want to go up by two. One, two. And then place an upper left diagonal. And go up by five. One, two, three, four, five. Place an upper right diagonal. And then go up by two. One, two. Upper right diagonal. And that's it. So you want to have this shape right here. Extend that row of glass towards you by one row. So every single glass extend it towards you that you've just placed like this. Towards the front of the lava lamp. And take every single glass that you placed and extend it backwards as well. So towards the back of the lava lamp. To give you this effect right here. But we don't just want that effect on that side of the build. We want to have that on this side. So that means take this sea lantern that you have on the middle right hand side. And place two glass on top. One, two. Do an upright diagonal. And go up by two. One, two. Do an upright diagonal. And go up by five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we want to do an upper left diagonal and go up by two, one, two, and do an upper left diagonal. We should have the same shape that we have on the opposite side, which means we also want to do the same thing to it. So you want to extend every glass towards you by one row, towards the front of the lava lamp, and also every single glass going backwards by one row towards the back of the lava lamp like this that is perfect the next thing that we want to do is we want to on the front of the lava lamp we want to connect the two rows of glass the one on the left and the one of the on the right together at the bottom so place a row of glass connecting them together at the corners and then place another row of glass on top and then starting from this left hand side we want to do an up left diagonal using the glass go up by two one two do an up left diagonal and go up by one two three four five then an upright diagonal go up by two one two upright diagonal like this and then we want to copy the same thing onto this opposite side. So that means doing from this block an upright diagonal. Go up by two. One, two. Upright diagonal. Go up by one, two, three, four, five. Up left diagonal. Up by two. One, two. And then an up left diagonal. Like this. Then what we want to do is we want to copy this onto the back of the lava lamp. So we want to place a row of glass together here, connecting at the bottom on the back. Add another row on top. And then copy what you did on the front. So this is best, this is honestly easiest to just look directly forward. And then just copy what you did on the front. So literally just look directly forward and copy what you did on the front. It shouldn't be too difficult. All you've got to do is just look a few blocks in front of yourself. And just make sure that whatever is on the front side is also on the back side as well. It shouldn't even take too long to do either. So we just want to quickly just build up all of this glass like this and then we have the exact same thing as we have on that opposite side which is of course the front now if we come back to the front the next thing we want to do 
is we want to place a row of glass that is in front of all of this empty space at the front and we want to fill it in with glass. So all that means is you want to make sure that there aren't any holes in the lava lamp and to do that all that you've got to do is just place a row of glass that is one row in front of all of the empty space that you have in front of the actual lava lamp. So like this you just want to place all of that glass. Now we want to then do the same thing on the back. So all of the empty space, just make sure that it is completely covered up by all of the, by the glass that you're going to be placing. So you don't want to have any empty space on the back of your lava lamp, just like you didn't want to have any empty space on the front. And then all you've got to do is just make sure that there's no gaps, you don't have to place any extra glass anywhere. And uh, then you should end up with something that should look exactly like that. So you can see we've done a large portion of the lava lamp now. Next, we want to grab the orange concrete and we want to head inside of the lamp and come all the way down to the bottom. Now, you don't have to use orange concrete. You could use blue, green, whatever color you like. We're going to place a row of orange concrete that comes all the way up from the center of the lamp all the way up to the top, like this. It wants to come as high as the glass. Now, that's a good reference point. What we now want to do is we want to extend that row of orange concrete and we just want to extend the middle sort of part of this outward. So if you take the middle part and you just kind of like add a few rows of orange concrete to it like this, then we, we kind of want to create the part of the lava lamp which is like all big and puffy. And what that means, like you know how the lava like splits and moves up and down the lamp? What I mean is you just want to make that one middle part bigger than the other part so that it looks as though the lava, so there's actual like lava inside of there. You can use actual real life lava if you want to, but I, I wouldn't recommend it honestly because I, I think that this looks a lot bit better but you just want to make that middle part a little bit fatter than all of the other parts and uh, that's that's all you have to do so just keep messing around with it until you are happy with your particular um, part of the lava if you want to use real lava then please just fill the lamp with lava and uh, and it will look good no matter what you do to it I'm sure so you can see that we've almost done that Actually, that, that looks fine. That actually looks all right. And now we have a bit of lava in our lamp. And what that means is that we can come up to the top of this build now. And we can grab ourselves the... Uh, we want to grab uh, white concrete. And we want to place a row of white concrete on the left-hand side of the lamp where we have this row of free glass. We want to place white concrete on the right-hand side of the lamp as well where we have the row of free glass. And we want to place a white concrete on this block, this block, this block, and this block, like that. Connect the white concrete blocks together that aren't. And then we want to raise up the middle white concretes on every side. So the back, front, left, right, like that. We then want to join those together diagonally using our white concrete so we want to join all of those together diagonally like this perfect then on top of this we want to fill the top of this in using white concrete so kind of like in a plus shape like this you just want to fill in the empty space and then raise up the final middle block by one we should end up with something that looks exactly like that and that is a fantastic looking lava lamp. Now of course, if you want to customize the interior, all you have to do is crack open the door and walk inside and you can you could create a, an interior very much like the one that we saw at the start of the video or what I would well 
that what I would recommend, honestly, is you create your own inn area and make it as uh, as nice as you like. So, you know, make it to your own specifications. Don't just build the same inn area that I did. You're going to want to build something that you personally want to have. But if you do want to copy it, feel free to just skip back to the front of the video, and I'm sure that you won't have too much trouble doing that for yourselves. So, that's pretty much the tutorial, guys. That's the lava lamp. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that. I honestly would. It really helps me out more than you could possibly know. Likes really do help me out on YouTube. It's crazy. Uh, if you do enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Click the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you got all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make anything else by me, and I do have a weird variety of stuff surrounding me in uh, this particular corner of my world, please check out the guard system and the description below. Um, I do make uh, I do make so many different things. Like it's it's not just all wacky stuff. I I do make like real houses and city builds and stuff as well. Well, and you know, just regular, regular, normal sort of stuff that you'd want to make in Minecraft. Check out the card system in the description below. If you have any more suggestions, please do leave them down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.